Hey guys, welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday where we're continuing our conversation about good quality sleep. Because if we sleep well, our life just gets better, right? I mean, that's the whole goal is to live excellent and sleep is a part of that. Now, over, over the past couple of weeks, we talked about when we should stop having caffeine so our brain can come down. We talked about uh, when we should cut out food so our body can come down and be ready for sleep. Now we're gonna come back into the brain and our ba- brain chemistry and about two hours before bed, we have to cut off work. We've got to shut off the emails. We've got to close the laptop. We've got to shut off the, the tablet. And here's why, okay? Um, working causes stress. Whether you love your job or not, it's stress. And it causes the stress hormone cortisol to be up in high levels in your body. Now, course, cortisol has a bad rap. Cortisol at the right time, in the right amounts, is good. Right before bed, really, really high, not the right time, not the right amount, okay? In our culture, we tend to work right before we go to bed and shut the laptop and then go roll over and try to go to sleep. Cortisol has to clear out of our brain and out of our system for our brain to cycle down into that good, restful, deep sleep. So if you stop working about two hours before bed, your body has a chance to do that. Now, it feels really stressful to do that, but trust me, the work is gonna be there in the morning for you. So give yourself the chance to be rested and accomplish it well. So two hours before bed, shut off the notifications, shut off the email, close the laptop, and get yourself away from the stress of trying to complete the work that you have in front of you, okay? Because it'll help you get deeper sleep, which means you'll be more effective in your next day of work. And if you're doing that and getting good deep sleep, then again, you can eat smart, train hard, and live excellent. We'll see you guys next week.